It has taken more than 220 years for women to reach the top tiers of military leadership. They began as cooks, laundresses, and nurses with no rank and have risen to generals, admirals, astronauts, pilots, ships captains, heavy equipment operators, administrators, and much more. Not surprisingly, they have consistently succeeded in maintaining their identity and integrity while setting new standards for everyone in the previously male-dominated worlds of business, politics, and military service. Widely recognized as one of those great patriotic pioneers, Force Master Chief Nancy Hollingsworth is a living example for young women who dream of making an indelible imprint on the annals of military history. She was the first female reserve command master chief of a cruiser and serves currently as force master chief for all of the Navy's installations around the globe. From her birth in Chattanooga, Tennessee, her parents instilled in her and her brother a strong work ethic and demonstrated the importance of keeping commitment. She says, they taught me about working hard for your pay and doing the job right. They let me know it was okay to make mistakes. They showed me that it was important to stay humble, okay to apologize and rewarding to give to others. The most important thing in my life is my family, and I would not be where I am in the Navy without their unwavering love and support. She joined the Navy on Halloween Day in 1985, but didn't go to boot camp until February of 1986. Why did I join, you ask? I needed to do something, and community college, working full-time and partying full-time was not working out so well. I remember my mom and stepdad taking me down to the recruiter's office at the mall. The recruiter was supposed to take me down to the bus station to go from Chattanooga to Knoxville. He didn't show, but there was no way my mom was gonna let me miss that bus. Me, waving goodbye to them at the trailway station? <laughs> it's a memory deeply etched in my mind. Thinking she wanted to go back to college and a little nervous about going to sea, she got out of the Navy after her first four years. Within three months, she says, I knew that was a mistake. Fortunately, I was able to return to active duty in the active reserve component in March of 1991, and I never looked back or seriously considered getting out again. Selected to the Chief Petty Officer ranks in 1996, she attended the U.S. Navy Senior Enlisted Academy and was selected as Green Honor Graduate. She attended the Command Master Chief course and is a graduate of the National Defense University Keystone course. She holds a Master of Science degree in Human Resources Management from Troy University and has been a three-time member of the All-Navy cross-country team. She is a recipient of the Defense Meritorious Service Medal, two awards, Navy and Marine Corps Commendation Medal, five awards, the Navy and Marine Corps Achievement Medal, six awards. She is also designated Enlisted Surface Warfare Specialist and Enlisted Aviation Warfare Specialist. I've been so fortunate to work with great leaders, peers, and subordinates, she says. It is the people that have made this career so fantastic. I feel fortunate to have been stationed at so many great duty stations, serving with the CB community as a reservist, the submarine community as a staff member, and more. Her dream of being stationed on board an aircraft carrier didn't come true until much later in her career. She says the feeling she experienced serving aboard the USS Theodore Roosevelt during a time of war for missions that mattered are nearly indescribable. She served in a C-9 squadron, transporting people and cargo around the globe, in the Pentagon for the senior military advisor on the Joint Chiefs of Staff, and was Command Master Chief of the warship USS Chancellorsville. In October 2012, Master Chief Hollingsworth reported to Commander Navy Installations Command as the now Force Master Chief Hollingsworth. She says, my career has now settled into the business lines of supporting our fleet, fighter, and family, serving the 70 Navy installations worldwide. From the time the plane lands on our airfield, the ship pulls into the pier, the sailor needs a place to sleep and eat, and the family needs assistance, counseling, family programs, and childcare. We manage the support services to all, and it has been fascinating to be at this level. She currently lives in Washington, D.C. with her husband, Jim, daughter, Emily, and son, Kendall. When asked if she had a favorite quote, she responded, my favorite quote is from Booker T. Washington. Nothing ever comes to one that is worth having except as a result of hard work. The humility instilled by her parents is as strong today as it ever was. When asked how it felt to be celebrated for her accomplishments, she exclaimed, I don't feel like I've really done anything to be honored. I've just worked hard on personal relationships, communication, and helping others to get the job done. I love being a part of something bigger than me, the U.S. Navy, and serving my country. <laughs>